Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I am your host, Liam, aka Himbar, and today I have another poem for you because it's Poetry Thursday. It's also Sword and Sorcery November, so again, I have another Sword and Sorcery feel type poem for you. Now, unfailingly, this is the third of three poems I've shared for Sword and Sorcery November that is also by Robert E. Howard, who's the creator of the genre, so that's fitting. I would like some other recommendations, I guess. I'm always looking for more. I'm going to try to have a poem next week for some, by someone that's not Robert E. Howard, but we'll see. Anyway this, anyway, this is one similar to last week, which is a poem about the hero Solomon Cain, which is actually one of his sword and sorcery protagonists from before his creation of Conan. And that poem is The Return of Sir Richard Greenville. And I'm just going to read it here. It's, it's pretty short. It's not as long as last week's. And, you know, I actually like it as far as the actual flow of it. It's not pretty bad. It tells a story similar to last week's as well. And so that's one thing, though, that Howard's not known for the greatest poetry, but the stories he tells in his poetry are actually pretty darn good. And he is a good storyteller. So let's get right into it, though. The Return of Sir Richard Greenville. One slept beneath the branches dim, cloaked in the crawling mist, and Richard Greenville came to him and plucked him by the wrist. No night wind shook the forest deep where the shadows of doom were spread, and Solomon Cain awoke from sleep and looked upon the dead. He spoke in wonder, not in fear. How walks a man who died? Friend of old times, what do ye hear, long fallen at my side? Rise up, rise up, Sir Richard said. The hounds of doom are free. The slayers come to take your head to hang on the juju tree. Swift feet press the jungle mud, where the shadows are grim and stark, and naked men who pant for blood, and racing through the dark. And Solomon rose and bared his sword, and swift as tongue could tell, the dark spewed forth a painted horde like shadows out of hell. His pistols thundered in the night, and in that burst of flame he saw red eyes with hate alight, and on the figures came. His sword was like a cobra's stroke, and death hummed in its tune, his arm was steel and knotted oak beneath the rising moon. But by him sang another sword, and a great form roared and thrust, and dropped like leaves the screaming horde writhe in bloody dust. Silent as death their charge had been, silent as night they fled, and in the trampled glade was seen only the torn dead. And Solomon turned with outstretched hand, and then halted suddenly, for no man stood with naked brand beneath the moonlit tree. And so it seems like to me that Sir Richard, his friend, had come back to help him, but was, you know, just like a ghostly apparition or like some Adelon or something of the sort. I haven't, still haven't read any Solomon Kane. it's only been a week, but uh, I do look forward to understanding these poems a little bit more, but regardless, it does tell a story, and it tells a good story, I mean, about Solomon Kane seemingly rising from probably unconsciousness to fend off some foes, and, you know, turning to thank his friend, who was not actually there, um, at least not physically, and, you know, it's one I really like, but, you know, that's, I don't have a lot to say this week, um, I just, I just enjoyed it. I, I left it here for you to enjoy as well. And again, it's Sword and Sorcery in November, so pick up some things from Sword and Sorcery. Some Robert E. Howard's a great one. Any other by Fritz Leiber, Michael Moorcock, any modern authors. Again, it's all great. And, and it's also Poetry Thursday, so maybe read a Sword and Sorcery poem for Sword and Sorcery in November and Poetry Thursday. But anyways, this is Liam with Liam's Lyceum. I'll catch you next time. Thank you.